guys, this is Hassan from HDFX and today I want to teach you what are terminal impulsive waves, terminal waves. If you are familiar with my videos, I'm sure you heard me many times saying terminal waves. Now, what are these terminal waves? And today I wanted to talk about it. Now, terminal waves are uh, very special type of impulsive waves, okay? Now, when we for, uh, usually think about impulsive waves, like I already explained before in other videos, you're looking for structures like this, usually, with a fourth wave, uh, with a third wave extension mainly, but it can also be uh, first wave extension impulsive move, it can be a third wave extension move, like on this one, or you can have a fifth wave extension. Okay, so this is the what it looks like a classical impulsive move. Okay, and it can appear this classical impulsive move, it can appear in a certain places. Well, it can be wave one, it can be wave three, it can be wave A of a zigzag, it can be wave C of a zigzag. It can be wave C of a flat, and if I didn't forget, and of course wave 5, wave 5. So, if you are, if you think that you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you think you're in an impulsive move, on the bigger degree, on one bigger degree, it has to be one of this. So you cannot just have an uh, impulsive move by its own. It has to be something from this. So for example, if this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it means that let's say this is on one bigger degree, okay, something like this, first wave, maybe, or a wave A of a zigzag, wave C of a, something like this. Now, Classical impulsive moves are labeled with numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But what makes them special is in one lower degree this time, okay, so let's go back to one lower degree now. First waves are impulsive on their own, like here. Third wave too. So look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If this on the bigger wave will be one of this, it means this on the smaller wave will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as well. And also the fifth wave. Now, the second and the fourth wave are corrected. So you have correct the wave here and correct the wave as a fourth wave as well. It's what what makes it special for these terminal waves. Are terminal waves just like um, classical impulsive waves? They are five wave structures. So they are five waves uh, structures okay so this is first thing you should know they are five wave structures so they're labeled with just like classical impulsive wave numbers so one two three four five so whenever that you see a terminal move you have to know that they have to be labeled with numbers okay but what makes them special is this all of these waves, so you should think like this, so all five waves are corrected. So in our uh, classical impulsive move, first wave, third wave, and the fifth wave are impulsive structures, but in terminal waves, even though just like the classical impulsive move, there's one, two, three, four, five, in here, these one, two, three, four, five, they're all correct, okay? Now, let me let me draw one so that we can maybe compare it a little bit better. So you have a wave one. Of course, this, this one will be an example. And you have a second wave. Okay. Let's say something like this. Without this, obviously. And then you have a third wave. And then you have a fourth wave. And then you have a fifth wave. 
something like this. Now, look at the difference. Now, look, first wave, ABC, second wave, ABC, third wave, ABC, fourth wave, ABC, fifth wave, ABC. So all of these moves are corrective structures. So, for example, first wave can be a flat, second wave flat, third wave flat, fourth wave flat, fifth wave flat, or zigzag. Okay? Now, it, for example, first wave cannot be a triangle, second wave cannot be a triangle, third wave, fourth wave cannot be a triangle, but fifth wave can be a triangle because triangles finish something, okay? So don't forget this. So, the definition, the difference here with this one and this one also where it can appear. Now look, as you can see, classical impulsive waves can appear here. Now terminal moves cannot appear in the first wave of a impulsive move. It cannot appear in the third wave of an impulsive move too. It cannot appear as the wave A of a zigzag too. This is the difference. They can only appear in the wave 5, wave C of a zigzag, or wave C of a flat. That's it. So whenever you think that you have a terminal move, you're in either of these three. There is no fourth option. Okay? So that's important to know as well. Now, there is one, one thing that makes this uh, trading terminal waves are nice for me that is this whenever you uh, trade a terminal move you have the chance of using time and price together what what do i mean so let's say this this is the start of this terminal move yes and this is the end of this terminal move and for this example's sake okay let's say that this is for example wave c of a zigzag if this is a wave c of a zigzag it means here somewhere here i had a wave b true and also it means somewhere here i had a wave a so what does this mean it means we are in a zigzag so it means in here on my lower degree now of course um, I cannot use this, but I can use it like this. This was on this degree. To in, yes. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. And we had ABC here. And now we need one more ABC, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But because this is a wave C of a zigzag, as you can see, it, it checks my requirement place for it. Then I can expect... A terminal move here now what's nice about this terminal move is this look at the time taking for wave C okay what I do is I take my Fibonacci time zone tool and go from the start to the end I take 50% of the time and I paste it at the end of fifth wave okay then I delete all of this now if this is a terminal move the price action has to go in this time, maximum 50% of the time, to where it starts, which is the end of B wave. This has to come. This what makes a terminal move uh, terminal. Okay? And usually they look like wedges. Okay? They look like wedges. So this is what it's the most, in, this is, uh, let's say, the party piece of this move, okay? Now, there is also some, of the, some other difference between the classical move and the terminal move. The other difference is, in a classical impulsive move, you need one wave, either first or third or the fifth one, extended. Now, in terminal moves, there is no such rule as extension. The extension means this, you take the second longest wave, either one three or five yes we take let's say five and we take our fib tool just like here and we put it here 
and we took 161.8 out of it and look we compare our third wave and what is should be minimum and you can see our third wave is bigger than this so it means we are good so it means that the third wave is extended now in terminal move even though there is three types which are called i'm sorry which are called first wave extension so first wave extension terminal move there is third wave extension terminal move and also there is fifth wave extension extension terminal move third let's forget to write third wave extension yes okay so even though you have these three possibilities this when you, this extension it's not like this extension okay this extension just means that one of the waves are longer or higher or like whatever you want you said longer i think the correct term longer in size than other ones i'm talking about first wave third wave and the fifth wave so for example in this example this this is this is a first wave extension terminal move but i will not take the third wave and try to play to project 161.8 to see if they have an extension or not in terminal move, this is not required okay but what is required is the third wave cannot be the shortest so this is important you cannot have a third wave that is the shortest you cannot and also what you have to do is you have to always draw two to four trend line and you can use two, one to three trend line too i use it because um, it helps you to understand this wedge formation okay now two to four trend line has to be clean but some part of fifth wave for example if fifth wave is a triangle or a flat with a failure or this the fifth day, for example, is a zigzag, but this zigzag C wave is a terminal move of its own or something. Then it can attach, uh, then it can rank two to four trend line, okay? Now, this is what the first wave extension looks like in a terminal move. And let's look at what looks like a fifth wave. So you have a first wave, second wave, then you have a third wave, okay? Then you have a fourth wave. Then you have a fifth wave. Okay. Now this is fifth wave extension terminal move, which are not so common. Okay. The most of them, this is why I say most of the times it does look like a wedge. Okay. The least common one are the third wave extensions, which is something like this. which this one is even less common, okay? But as you can see, um, there is an also another rule. This There is an uh, overlapping that is important, okay? Now, overlapping means fourth wave comes to the territory of second wave. As you can see, look, fourth wave. In a classical impulsive move, if the fourth wave comes to, the, to this much down, we say, okay, it's not impulsive move. But in... Uh, terminal moves fourth wave should come to the territory of the first uh, for the second wave okay which means end of first wave the end of third. so look, this is very important and look all of this stuff when i drew it i try to do like this now of course there is an also another uh, thing that you have to know about terminal impulsive waves but actually there are some more too of course but i i cannot teach all of you all of it here because well basically it's because i sell my own uh education program so i cannot give you all the secrets but you have to know that i at least i can show you the basics and also but whenever you have a zigzag look one of the things was uh you could have a zigzag as a terminal wave c wave yes now in a zigzag 
wave A is usually most of the times are equal or so similar in as time for C wave. Now, when is the C wave is a terminal move, this doesn't this it doesn't have to be like this. Okay, so don't forget this. This is something that uh, it's important. So these are basically the uh, the terminal moves. Of course, if you have, a, for example, fifth wave uh, terminal move, you have a little bit different rules. Also, if you have a f uh, first wave, ex well, you still have more rules. But the, this is the basic of it. For example, uh, for example, there is a rule something like uh, wave three cannot be much more than six one eight of wave one or something like this. Okay, but um, these are the basics that first you have to know. Okay, then uh, the more uh, you want to learn, you can always contact me. So thank you so much, guys.